Hello, this is Jocelyn from LustForLipGloss.com. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about the OPI Nordic Collection. OPI announced the launch of 12 new limited edition nail lacquers inspired by the Northern Lights in Finland, Deep Blue Fjords in Norway, and Colorful Houses in Copenhagen. Nordic Collection by OPI brings the diverse colors of its namesake region to nails and toes for fall winter 2014. Each polish will retail for around $8 to $10 depending on where you shop and of course where you're from. I posted two blog posts on this collection already so I will leave the links to those in the down bar if you want to check it out. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos on new nail polish collections and other makeup goodies. Now let's get on with the swatches. I'm going to start off with the warmer browns and nudes in the Nordic collection. The first shade is Going My Way or Norway. It is a light warm tan with a creme finish. The formula is super smooth and offered great coverage on the nails. It could definitely be a one coater. It's a nice shade. It's a great alternative to a standard flesh tone nude color. Next is Ice Burgers and Fries. It is a warm, medium caramel brown hue with a creme finish. In the shade, the color can be deeper in tone. The formula is easy to work with and self-leveled beautifully on the nails. Next is OPI with a nice finish. It is a golden bronze shimmer with a frosty finish. The formula is opaque, though the shimmery frost finish will show some brush strokes. They are less noticeable in person than in my photos. Next is My Voice is a Little Norse. It is a glitter polish consisting of small gunmetal and holographic hex glitter suspended in a sheer gray base. The glitter is very sparkly and shimmery in the light. The polish has a good base to glitter ratio and it is easy to spread on the nails. However, I think this polish is more of a topper, so here it is layered over How Great is Your Dane. Next is Canna Fjord Not Two. It is a light orange with a creme finish. The color is bright and yet still muted in tone, which makes it a nice alternative to a, an intense summer orange. The formula is creamy smooth and good to go in just two coats. Next is How Great Is Your Dane? It is a deep bark brown with a creme finish. The color is surprisingly quite flattering on the nails. In addition, the polish has an excellent formula. It is smooth and easy to apply. The next six shades are the cooler and brighter colors in the collection. The first bright color is My Dog Sled is a Hybrid. It is a muted seafoam green with a creme finish. It's not a color I would normally associate with fall and winter, but it's a refreshing break from the warmer tones in the collection. The formula is pigmented and creamy to apply. Next is Susie Has a Sweet Tooth. It is a candy pink with a creme finish. The color is pretty, though not really unique. It could be duped very easily across any brand. The formula is nice to work with and self-leveled nicely. Next is Do You Have This Color in Stockholm? It is a bright blue violet hue with a creme finish. In my photos, the color appears to be more blue than purple, but in person you can see the purple tones. The formula was on the thin and watery side, so you'll need a few layers to get it even. Next is Thank Log It's Friday, a light wine red with fuchsia micro shimmer. The shimmer is very subtle on nails, but provides a luminous sheen. The formula is opaque and smooth on the nails. Next is Skating on Thin Ice Land, a medium dark black cherry color with a creme finish. The color is very fall appropriate and has a gorgeous deep tone to it. The formula was sheer with one coat, but perfect in two. The last polish is Viking in a Vinta Wonderland, <laughs> a deep dark eggplant purple. In direct light you can see the purple tones in the polish, though in the shade it looks like a black polish. The formula is creamy and offered great opaque coverage on the nails. And there we have the OPI Nordic Collection. Overall this collection offers a nice mix of creme and shimmer finishes in bold and neutral colors. Though the collection contains the traditional fall browns and nudes, it also has bolder colors like seafoam green and pinks that transition perfectly from summer to fall and winter. The formula was great across the board. Most colors needed only two coats. If you want to read the full reviews and see more photos and swatches, I will leave the blog post links in the description bar down below. I want to thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video and I hope you found it helpful. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. 
Also in the comments, let me know your thoughts on this question and what colors are your favorite. Once again, thank you for watching and I'll talk to you all in my next video. If you missed my last video about the China Glaze All Aboard collection, then click here to go watch it.